Hey what's going on guys, my name's Raf, and today episode 63 of the Pokemon Journeys anime aired in Japan. It was a pretty decent filler episode, with Chloe's Eevee showing off her move copycat again in action, alongside some good development for Chloe. Despite this, a new special preview trailer dropped revealing a ton of new information about upcoming episodes. This one is going to blow your mind. There's a bunch of information to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date. And without further ado, let's begin. Yesterday, the official Anipoke PR Twitter account revealed that after the airing of episode 63, a new special preview trailer will be dropping. During the early hours of this morning, Oha Suta ended up revealing a new frames from episode 65, the battle between Ash and Iris, 24 hours later, and here we are. This preview trailer has to be one of the biggest yet. Now let's dive into all of the latest information alongside explore potential theories and plot points. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. This is just pure speculation. The trailer opens up with us seeing an aircraft in the middle of the woods. We then see a frame of Ash looking startled in the Opelousa gym with his battle against Iris, to then see Go feeling cold in the snowy mountain area. We then see a frame of Pikachu using Thunderbolt, which will most likely relate to another frame later on. A frame of a frozen Pokeball can then be seen in the snow. We then see Ash and Go leaving the Cerise lab. After this, a frame of what potentially looks like a Blastoise is shown. I'm sure we all know who this is belonging to. In fact, the next frame itself could be the answer, as it reveals Ash and Go pairing up with Gary Oak. As we can see, Ash's Infernape returns to join the battle, alongside Gary's Electivire. Talk about nostalgia at its finest. I would assume that this would be when the bunch encountered the legendary birds roaming across the region, just like how they are in the Let's Go games after you've battled them for the first time in their original locations. We then see a frame for what could be from potentially episode 66, showing off the Flabebe's, to then see a massive spiral. Whether or not if this is a move, or some sort of mechanic, it's unknown. We then see a clash between Iris's Dragonite versus Ash's Dragonite, which is definitely hyping itself up to be amazing. Ash and Go are then shown to discover about Project Mew, which then transitions into the title of the preview. After the roundup of Ash and Go's goals, we then see the pair arriving at Professor Oak's lab. The narration appears to show Professor Oak explaining about Mew, before we are introduced to a new character named Asahi, who could potentially be an antagonist, but I doubt that's the case seeing as they're going to be working on Project Mew as well. We then see Ash and Go exit the aircraft from before, to which they then arrive in the Crown Tundra. Gary is then shown, and I'm starting to wonder if he'll also be investigating the Crown Tundra too, relating to the legendary birds as well. We then see Regis appear, and a second new character named Tsugurugi, whose partner Pokemon appears to be an Urshifu in its single strike style. Urshifu is shown to use its signature move, Wicked Blow, which of course is exclusive to the single strike style. Maybe that means Asahi has one in its rapid strike style to coincide with their appearances and colours. Tsurugi then appears to be explaining to Ash and Go about the Crown Tundra, before Go looks at Grookey with a Thor. A few set of frames are shown, and then we see a floor just which could be relating to episode 66, potentially indicating that one of Ghost Flabebe's will be evolving. This may also just be a random floor just. Iris can then be seen in her champion outfit being hugged by Ash's Dragonite, to which we then see a few frames of Chloe and Eevee showing that their bond is growing. One thing to point out is that it appears that Eevee is wearing a pink scarf, which is an item that is said to increase its cuteness from contests. I'm not saying anything just yet, but if Chloe does end up following the role as a coordinator, and we do see the return of characters like Mei and Dawn from before, then boy, this is going to be something special. Moltres is then shown again attacking, to which we see Ash, Gary and Go, alongside Ash command his Infernape. The fact we're even seeing Infernape return and use Mac Punch against the Moltres is just hype through the roof. The battle between Ash and Iris commences, to which we learn that Dracovish will be taking part in the battle as well, potentially indicating that it's most likely going to be a 2v2 battle after all. It appears to use the moves Ice Fang, Water Gun, and even potentially Finishes Rend. Knowing this, I reckon we'll see Iris's Axew fully evolve as a Haxorus relating to the recent leaks. Ash and Go are then shown tackling the extreme snowstorm in the Crown Tundra, which could actually be relating to Articuno. Seeing as we've seen them both now encounter Moltres and Zapdos, this could be the final legendary bird to complete the trio circle. We then see an amazing shot of Ash reunited with his Pokemon at Oak's lab. We see the lights of Charizard, and now even his Kalos team, alongside some of his other Pokemon. We're only shown a small selection of Ash's Pokemon, but maybe during the episode we'll get to see all of his Pokemon in their entirety, and hopefully we can even see Go interact with the Pokemon as well, and maybe he could even bring his own Pokemon to interact with them as well. The next two frames shows what appears to be Ash and Go taking part in a battle, 
potentially against that Reg Ice we saw previously. Ash is then shown in a police uniform commanding Pikachu to use Thunderbolt, which then transitions to us seeing a few frames of Grookey and Eevee alongside Team Rocket. The trailer then concludes with us seeing Ash's Dragonite use Hurricane in the Iris battle before Go throws a Pokeball alongside Grookey. The ending shows the snowy area to which Go is startled as he appears to may have encountered Mew again. Wow, what a trailer. After all of the suspense, we've got a ton of information to look forward to now. The fact that we're seeing a new arc unfold alongside Gary and the Crown Tundra is amazing. Let's go over a few extra details from Famitsu. Ash and Go who visit the Oak Research Institute in Pallet Town for the first time in a long time are being told by Professor Oak that a team named Project Mew, who are currently searching for Mew in earnest, are recruiting members. On the other hand, Ash learns that the Inferno that he entrusted in the Oak Lab has not appeared recently, so he decides to go looking for it with Go. Along the way, he meets Ash's childhood friend and rival Gary, who states he is back in the Kanto region for a purpose, and it seems that the legendary Pokemon Mortrace is involved. Also in the released PR video, the legendary Pokemon Urshifu will appear for the first time. It hits a powerful blow against the legendary Pokemon Regice, which is said to have an ice body that cannot be melted even by flames. Don't miss the battle between the two legendary Pokemon. Ash, who has also entered the Pokemon World Championships to aim for a battle with the strongest champion Leon, challenges the battle with the former travelling companion Iris. In the PR video, Iris, who has improved her skills with her partner Pokemon, even after finishing the trip with Ash, has become the champion in the Unova region. Dragon Battle Ash vs Iris will be broadcast on May the 7th Friday. Please pay attention to the battle between Ash and Iris, a must see for any Poke fans for promotion to the Hyper Class. Who are the new Soragi and Asahi, and what is the purpose of Gary? Please look forward to the future of the Pokemon World Championships battle and the following art report of Project Mew. To begin with, it appears that the Inferno Bleak could be coming true after all. In terms of the Project Mew arc, I'm quite intrigued to see how this is going to unfold, and if the new characters will hold any relation to it. We know Go's goal was to get to Mew, so this for sure will play a big part in how he completes this. With Iris now confirmed to be the champion of Unova, I really hope we see Ash reveal his champion status too. I also reckon that Haxorus will be her second Pokemon to coincide with the merchandise scan. It could be a Molga due to the Spoon 2D scans, but she may just have that Pokemon in the background. As mentioned in my Gary theory, I reckon he has now returned to participate in a research event. It could be that he is researching about the legendary birds, to which he then informs Ash and Go later on to visit the Crown Tundra for them to learn about their Galarian variants. Seeing as his Blastoise and Electify have appeared, I hope we get to see a battle between him and Ash unfold, and even the potential Gigantamax too. Whilst an Umbreon was shown in the merchandise scans, nothing has revealed it to appear just yet. The battle between Moltres could also be a raid battle just like Zapdos. This scene does appear to be in the same area the battle takes place, so of course, we can expect Go to try and catch the legendary bird. And going back to this frame of the frozen Pokeball, we could also see him attempt to catch Regice, again with the legendary Pokemon breaking free using its moves, just like how Zapdos did with Thunder. Finally, we have the Crown Tundra. The outfits and settlements itself has made it obvious that this is an arc as well. It seems that each potential arc could interwine with each other, and I'm keen to learn more about Urshfu and if the boys will go back later on to the Isle of Armour. In terms of who's getting a Kubfu, we can't confirm this seeing as we've seen one form of Urshfu already, which of course relates to the merchandise scans we've seen. Overall, it looks like Pokemon Journeys has delivered the hype once again. We have three potential arcs coming very soon, and just by looking at this trailer, I'm sure we're all hyped to find out what other events are to unfold. But what Illumina will you guys think in the comment section down below? If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team Pokerf Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on the screen and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave it a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.